DJI Matrice 100 installation demonstration. Unboxing. Open the box. Take out the propellers, accessories kit, remote controller, and battery. Take out the center frame, M1 to M4 frame arms, GPS kit, expansion bay components, and gimbal mounting plate. Removing the battery compartment and upper plate. Remove the four screws on the battery compartment using the screwdriver and the accessories kit. Take out the battery compartment. Remove the eight screws on the mounting rails on the upper plate of the center frame and remove the screws on the rear LED. Then remove the upper plate. Assembling the aircraft, mounting the frame arm. Notice, two kinds of fasteners are included in the package, which are the three degree fastener and the zero degree fastener. For better flight performance, we suggest you use the three degree fasteners, which are already installed when you receive your Matrice 100. The following are the installation procedures using frame arm M1 as illustration. Insert the M1 frame arm into the corresponding arm slot to the center frame. Push the M1 frame arm further into the inner arm slot. Attach the three degree fastener onto the outer arm slot of the center frame. Rotate the frame arm so that the clamp rings fit perfectly into the side of the three degree fastener. Then tighten the two screws to hold it in position. Tighten the screws of the inner curved fastener. Insulation of M1 is now complete. Similarly, install the M2, M3, and M4 frame arms according to the previous procedures. Notes. Please make sure that all frame arms are mounted in the corrected positions. Depending on your configuration, you may instead use the zero degree fastener that comes with the accessories kit. To form a propeller rotation plane that is at a zero degree incline to the aircraft platform, installation procedures are the same as shown before. Connecting cables. Connect the motor cables to the motor ports of the M1 to M4 ESC. Be sure to match the colors on the cables and ports. Connect the LED cables to the LED port of the M1 to M4 ESC. Pull the antenna cable of the M1 to M4 through the cable tie on the lower plate. Connect the antenna cable to the antenna port on the bottom of the flight controller. You may require some tools for this step. After connecting cables, Tighten the cable tie to prevent the antenna cables from coming loose. Cables are now connected. Mounting the upper plate. Lay out the ESC LED lights, antenna, and flight controller cables. Reposition the upper plate. Use M2.5 by 5 screws to tighten the upper plate onto the aircraft. Use M2.5 by 8 screws to mount the mounting rails onto the upper plate. Use M3 by 8 self-tapping screws to fix the rear LED lights to the upper plate. Note, when mounting the upper plate of the center frame, ensure the side with a notch faces the left side of the aircraft. Upper plate installation is now complete. Notice, if you have the gimbal accessories kit, connect the gimbal cables to the two ports shown here before mounting the upper plate. Arrange the gimbal cables as shown in the picture. Mount the gimbal mounting plate on the upper plate of the center frame. Notice, if you want to mount the battery compartment on top of the center frame, Pull the red, green, and white cables on the lower plate through the wire outlet of the upper plate before connecting them. This way, it will be easy for you to change the battery compartment mounting position. Mounting the battery compartment. Mount the battery compartment onto the mounting rails on the lower plate of the center frame. Then tighten the screws. Remove the screws on the cover of the battery compartment. Open the cover. 
Connect the various cables on the lower plate to the corresponding ports of the battery compartment. There are three mounting positions on the upper plate, allowing the center of gravity of the aircraft to be easily adjusted. Plugs will not fit if you try to plug them into the wrong ports, or if they are not orientated correctly. The six pin port with a yellow sticker is reserved. Do not connect any cables to this port. Pull the power cable of the battery compartment through the cover wire outlet. Close the cover of the battery compartment. Connect the power cable to the XT60 port on the center frame. Tighten the screws on the cover. Battery compartment installation is now complete. Mounting the expansion bay. Slide the expansion bay base plate into the slots located on the two side plates. Then tighten the screws. Align the expansion bay screw holes to those on the mounting rails. Then tighten the screws. Expansion bay installation is now complete. No, you can mount an extra expansion bay on the existing one. Or on the battery compartment. Expansion combinations are customizable. Mounting the GPS module. Mount the collapsible GPS mount onto the upper plate of the center frame. Tighten the screws on the mount. Use double-sided tape to attach the GPS module to the collapsible GPS mount. Make sure the arrows on the GPS module points to the nose of the aircraft. Connect the GPS cables to the GPS port. GPS installation is now complete. Battery installation. Insert the battery into the battery compartment. Installation is now complete. Mounting the gimbal mounting plate. Pull one end of the damper through the hole on the mounting plate. And the other end through the hole on the center frame. Users can mount any device that requires less vibration onto the gimbal mounting plate. Please follow the mounting procedure if you want to use the DJI recommended gimbal. Cut off the unneeded parts on top of the dampers. Installation of the gimbal mounting plate is now complete. Mounting the propellers. Install the propellers with white dots on the motors that have white dots. Install the propellers without white dots on the motors that do not have white dots. Installation of the Matrice 100